a special guest today. You can tell everybody your name and where you're from. The nation, the nation bug, remember, from Yorktown, New Orleans, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what do New Orleans mean to you and how did it affect you and your upbringing? New Orleans? Yeah. Um, I feel like New Orleans prepared me for life. New Orleans prepared me for, for anything in my life. Uh, I mean, I want to say, say it was all treacherous. I want to say it was all bad. I want to say it was all good, you know? It was, it was bad times. It was good times. You understand? I said the good outweighed the bad, but compared to like anywhere else, New Orleans was like training camp for this shit. You understand? Real life. What is the nation, and if you could detail in on how did it start and how did you become a member of the nation? Remember? I want to say it's like no member, you know what I'm saying? It's really the record label we started, you know what I mean? It's based on shit. My La Pana, my La Pana died named D Rock, and you know, Jay Z Rock Nation type shit. I guess it's a spin off from that. You know what I'm saying? It's some other shit, but fuck. It's really come from jail. My partner in jail gave me the idea of the nation, you know what I mean? And I just took it and ran with it, fuck. Real life. Who's some of the main associates of the nation? The main associates? Yeah. Shit. Like who, 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 who? I did who, who, you know what I'm saying? Nobody really signed it at, at, at the moment, fuck, but. You know, it's real, all, all girl town, you know what I mean? All girl town, shit, for real life. So like Jay, Jay Youngin, you know what I mean? One of my partners. Fuck. Me, fuck, that's really it, it's really just me, I started this, you know what I mean? It's solo right now, fuck. It's really all family. Also wanted to detail in on, basically, what did you go to jail for? Jail, yeah, oh, damn, shit. <laughs> Man, my first, my first time going to jail, probably like a gun charge, you know what I mean? I think I was in that probably like a week or some shit like that. And my, my longest stretch, I, I went to jail on murder. Like two, two murders. Can you detail in on it a little bit? Not to get you to say too much, but say yeah, you bro. know. Bitch, I knew you were coming with me. You came fast, man. <laughs> nah, nah, I don't. I mean, you know, fuck. It, was just, it really was just a misunderstanding. <coughs> <coughs> Just a misunderstanding because you know, for for whatever reason, my name came up. You know what I mean? It took a long a long year to get down, some long years. You know what I mean? I said to get down to the truth, but fuck, I'm here. Real life. You know Was one of the craziest things you experienced while being incarcerated? One of the craziest thing? Yeah. That you can, you know, experience. That I, that I can say, like, what you mean, like, because there's a lot of crazy shit going on in jail, though. Some that the normal person wouldn't think that it happened on the daily. On the daily? Boy, I, man, you'll be surprised how many people in the game, like, like young niggas. You know what I mean? That, I know that that's what surprised me the most. Like, I, 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 I knew, I knew getting... I knew going to jail, you know what I mean, it was gonna be whatever kind of whatever kind of violence, you know what I mean? Nigga prepare for that. But seeing them young boys seeing them young boys going to that boat, you know what I mean, and they got an out day, they fucked me up. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I mean? And you'd be surprised who was under that bitch. You know it's mean? crazy. There been plenty of time though I got into some shit or whatever, but fuck. I really need to hit no of that fuck, man, you know. All that come with it. Nigga got knives and you know what I'm saying? But fuck. All that come with it, bro. Right? Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. How did it affect you? What? What's Just you mean? being incarcerated, seeing the shit you had to see, 
You know what I mean? Going through it day by day until you was through. Like, how did it affect you as a person? I, I said it humbled me for real though. Even though I was already like a humble nigga, it hurt me. I, I, I feel like jail, jail took everything. You know, when you're in jail, you really like you broke. You can't do nothing for yourself. You can't move. You can't. You know what I'm saying? You, everything you do, you depending on somebody. You hear me? I, I say that jail turned me up. Like, I say jail turned my hustle up for real. For real. I feel like jail is gonna make you, gonna make you better. Uh, it's gonna make you way, way, way fucking worse. What are some notable street cats you came up with? On your prime run while you was in the 